Well, what do you think, guys? You think it's uh, safe to pass by the black walnut tree now? This is the thing that was dropping bombs on Wolfie and I. What a dick. <laughs> Anyway, good afternoon everybody. It is uh, the 30th of September. We're kissing uh, kissing the month of uh, September goodbye today. 30 days has September, April, June, and November, right? So this is going to be it. Uh, we're kind of dodging raindrops today. You can see we've got these, uh, we get a few fat clouds come over once in a while and they just give like a misty rain and stuff. It's definitely the change of seasons are here and in a way I'm kind of uh, a little bit bummed out. I got the uh, I got the boy out with me today and he's as excited as can be to be out on the uh, chooch. <laughs> Although you'd never know it because he never uh, he never wagged his tail or anything out here. So we're heading up to the uh, the avenue of love today and uh, it's delightful out there with the temperature but uh, Kind of sad, you know, when September goes, I always feel like uh, that's the end of the year. It's the end of summer anyway, and I love uh, I love summer. I love fall, too. I'm not much on uh, winter time. It's kind of sucky weather and everything. Um, yeah, it's a crazy day. I mean, I'm down to the... I'm using the uh, H SDR H79, the uh, Panasonic today because I'm experiencing very pronounced Wolfie, come on. Yeah. Oh yeah, Wolfie just walked right in front of the kid like, get that fuck out of the way, you little bastard. Got the uh, canned dick over here and all the uh, local canned dicks. A lot of people support themselves now coming around, picking up cans and uh, turning them in. Seems a tough way to hack out a living to me, but uh, they do it anyway. <laughs> Seems to be another self-serve day. You never see anybody working in there. <laughs> I guess it's on the honor system, the whole uh, the whole deal. But um, yeah, we're making our way up by Lola's Market, the local wildlife. The thing I love about Mondays is everybody's very well behaved all the time. Isn't that right, bro? All well behaved. No rude, rude comments or anything like that. But my equipment's breaking down. You know, I lost the uh, Canon, the FS, the FS 200. Of course, you know when I went to uh, back east in the uh, July, and the uh, TSA dick broke the uh, view screen on it. Luckily, it didn't affect the action of it. But now I'm at a point where the uh, where the battery's not charging right. You know, it doesn't sit right on the charger and crap. So, I'm gonna have to get a new battery there. The uh, high definition Panasonic's acting up. So you know, it always brings me back to uh, always brings me back to the old standby, the good old. Uh, Got to get this name right for once. I've said it wrong so many times. The SDR H79 Panasonic, which has been an absolute dream. You know, but when you upload, you shoot and upload, you know, almost 1,300 videos in nine months. I mean, it's a hell of a lot of shooting. And what you don't understand, you think, well, 1,300. But think about the hundreds of ones where, you know, I per looked particularly fugly and had to reshoot, you know, like not my best side, you know, the ugly tooth <laughs> and all that kind of stuff and it's insane, you know, so for every, uh, probably for every videos that have gone up, I've probably shot about uh, 14, so that puts another 40%, uh, for every 10 that have gone up, I've probably shot 14 and used 10 with a lot of redo, so that takes a hell of a lot of uh, wear and tear. Wolfie's kind of dragging today, huh? He had that day off when I was, two days off when I was down in the, the bosses. Drop the, uh, yeah, yeah, like I'm gonna, like I'm gonna 
going to hop on the back of your motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm going to hop in your stretch limousine. <laughs> well, I tell you guys, they always seem to hit in pairs when I'm out here. Awful, awful horny guys. And uh, I like to have a uh, like to have a uh, knife to cut those uh, to cut those tongues out and shit. So school's out. As you can tell, the uh, young ladies are walking around here. Wonder what is that girl with the what's that bitch with the big tits doing walking along with a uh, <laughs> movie camera and all that? But uh, I'm not complaining. But I'm uh, you know I'm, uh, it's amazing all the uh, camera gear I had. I donated the uh, Kodak ZI8 to the boss and Janet so that they could have a uh, oh call your shots, Wolf. I guess that's a particularly tasty piece of uh, metal over here. He's always got to get that tongue on all that. Come on, Wolf. He's getting a little smarter now, even with that uh, Alzheimer's bearing down like a freight train. He still knows this route now, and he's thinking, oh, those damn railroad tracks. <laughs> Like Rosie, one day I hope to return the uh, favor to you. <laughs> we are an old broad. I'm already an old broad, you know. <laughs> but it's funny. I'm, I'm down to the original two cameras I started with, almost the uh, Sony DV, D, DV, DCR DVD 650, which has been amazing. I'm also down to the uh, SDR H79, which I'm shooting with today. I'm just, uh, I'm just burning these things out. You know, you wouldn't think just shooting movies, and but there's a lot of shutter action going on, a lot of focus. There's a lot of SD cards in and out. It's a lot of work to do a uh, upload. I love it, but it does take a toll. Uh, Wolfie, what, what are we doing today? Smelling the leaf? Huh? Wolfie, come on. <laughs> Getting a little balky here, you know. Hey, I got a lot of comments about the uh, trip to Janet's down there. And I got a lot of uh, channel comments and a lot of private messages. You know, I have so many new people coming on the channel now. We're, you know, we're gaining a hundred sometimes 150 200 new subscribers in like 10 days and it's uh, really fantastic but you know what the deal is when new people come on they don't know all these people like the boss and Janet and all that stuff to them it's like who in the hell is that you know? <laughs> so once in a while I like to uh, once in a while I like to stop and sort of explain things to people because, uh, you know, they wonder, where did the boss come out of? I'm, everybody's running over me today. Jesus. <laughs> uh, is it just me, guys? Huh? <laughs> then they uh, call a name out, bitch. Move it along and all that shit. This big tits, right? <laughs> but new people come on the channel and they don't know what, uh, they don't know who in the hell the boss is or Janet, you know, and I got people that have been here since day one, but like any channel, you always start small and you just start gathering people as you go along and then you're, you know, doing daily uploads and all that and that brings a whole new uh, group of people in and uh, pretty soon YouTube's got these algorithms where they find it people that like to uh, have multiple daily uploads like I do, they start to put channels like mine in front of them and the people are like, eh. chick's not too happy about that. Me being on cam, I guess. But, <laughs> kind of dark. I hope we don't get uh, rained on here today, right? Are you happy, Wolfie? Huh? You happy? Come on. Come on. Nothing on there. Head down here. We'll just get him down here before the uh, he has time for the shock to wear in. Wear up. Uh, hit it with the shock today. Oh. <laughs> I'm just 
pull that bush right down on his head there. But, uh, you know, I recognize there's a lot of new people and a lot of people are like, who's that, uh, who's that blonde girl? Is she transgender? And who's the, uh, who's the scary guy with the kind of big mouth that you... <laughs> Quite handsome though, isn't he? <laughs> That's the boss. You know, you ever heard the old saying, you can learn a lot about somebody when you make whiskey with them? All right, I'm just bullshitting, right? I just made that saying up. But anyway, the uh, I've known the boss and Janet, you know, known them on the uh, internet through cyberspace originally for probably, I want to say, six years now. And I always knew that they uh, lived kind of close, but I wanted to get my boobs done before I met them and everything. And because <laughs> Janet's got big monsters, right? What are we doing, Wolf? Huh? Wolfie's just like uh, ready for a sit-down strike here, aren't you, Wolf? What's the story today? Hmm? Tell him what the story is out there, huh? Uh, thing that always freaks me out about Malamutes when I first got Wolf, the tongue would be black and pink. It's like, what the hell is that? That's like, ah, oh, it's okay. That's just a characteristic of the Malamute. Right, Wolf? Hmm? You tired? You ready for me to strap you on my back and carry you? Like the sled dog that I am? <sighs> Gotta get her exercise. But I met them through uh, Adult Friend Finder, which is an adult social networking site. And, uh, you know, it used to really be Friend Finder years ago. Now it's sort of turned into Adult Sex Finder, but I don't think any, many people ever find, <laughs> find sex on it, much less uh, people to hook up with and stuff. But uh, it's been a fun site because besides having uh, chat rooms and stuff like that, you can also uh, get onto Adult Friend Finder and you can go on cam. You can put your uh, webcam in front of you and go on cam and uh, be as naughty as you want to be and uh, nobody, I don't know why any girl would be that, right? <laughs> You can be as naughty as you want to be and bad to the bone and all that and uh, uh, you know and that's when I first saw uh, Janet years ago she was being bad to the bone on <laughs> so we started chatting and she's like the uh, queen of adult friend finder right because she's always like one of the most popular gals <clears throat> on her uh, webcam because uh, you know I might have a little chooch on but <laughs> In the old days, boy, she was like naked as a jaybird. And <laughs> I'm gonna pay for this. Uh, I'm gonna pay for this video later. But uh, she's always very sweet. She'd never fight with anybody. She was always as sweet as they come. And uh, in the background of her life, <clears throat> there was always the boss. <laughs> and his name, his nickname was Cat. It's some kind of Mexican thing, or. Catmus or something like that and uh, man <laughs> he didn't fool with he didn't talk to the guys too much but he would just wreak havoc on uh, a lot of the girls that were uh, in the chat room and stuff and uh, why aren't you on cam and show your face and uh, you know it's why do you show from the neck down <laughs> and he just took some special joy in that uh, torturing people so I didn't meet him for a while because uh, frankly the boss is like uh, you know scary as hell to me right I mean like this this guy might rip me a new one <clears throat> so finally uh, you know two and a half years ago or something I finally got up the courage and uh, I said yeah I'm coming down to your house and I had uh, I knew Bobby at that time and we had it down and the boss was just the sweetest thing that you could ever imagine. And I'd seen him on cam maybe once a year. He would go on cam and show his big guns from working out and stuff. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, he was like absolutely nothing at all like he was on the uh, social networking site. He was a sweetheart, but boy, he liked to, uh, he liked to pinch. He liked to spank. He liked to bite you. You know, we'd be in that we'd be in that hot tub like this weekend, 
and all of a sudden he would reach under that water and he would grab your foot and bring it up to his mouth and bite your tail and I don't mean just give a little bite I mean he would bite down on that mofo you'd be like ah <laughs> and of course the more you <laughs> the more you <laughs> the more you scream the harder he bit down <laughs> Oh, and then he'd, uh, you know, he'd just pull your top. He'd do all this crazy stuff like a fraternity guy, you know. So all the girls were uh, kind of fearful of him, you know, because he was kind of a no bullshit, no prisoners kind of guy. Very macho, you know, Mexican and uh, English uh, mix, but uh, exceedingly good looking and, uh, you know, would just, just, just love playing the role of the... Uh, like the most hated person on uh, <laughs> adult friend finder at least among the uh, t girls or the wannabes and all that kind of stuff so it was always fun now you know i've, I've uploaded some pictures on facebook like a couple of weeks ago you know i was just sitting there in a chair at uh, in the outbuilding we were running some whiskey and that's his big forte is running the steel and everything and uh, all of a sudden, wham, this, he slaps down on my thigh and left uh, finger marks <laughs> on my thigh. I was like, wow, holy crap. <laughs> so he still does that or he'll give your nip a hell of a twist. Well, Janet does that stuff too. <laughs> now, I always thought it was funny in contrast to him. And, you know, he, they're very gracious people. They're, they're outstanding hosts. You know, not many people are going to give you clean sheets in the bed, right? They're going, hey, yeah, I did the wash. <laughs> she really does it. You know, I cleaned your, uh, cleaned your toilet. I did. You know, just wonderful, wonderful people. So of course, I have to reciprocate and clean the uh, bathroom at the rancho and the casa, do the sheets and all that. <clears throat> but they have a very comfortable uh, home down there. But in contrast, and this is the thing a lot of us could never figure out, in contrast to the boss's hot sort of fiery Latin uh, demeanor, there would be Janet, Miss Cool Dutch Girl, a blend between uh, Dutch and uh, English. <laughs> and the cool thing about Janet is, number one, nothing ever phases Janet. <clears throat> you know, she never, she might blow her cool around the boss and stuff like that, but nothing really ever flusters her or anything which is pretty amazing so she had one of these uh she had one of these transitions that can be characterized as a dream because uh not that there weren't some people that didn't like what she did in the family and stuff but she just came out matter of factly this is the deal <laughs> this is what i'm doing and this is my boyfriend, the boss here, and this is where I'm living at the boss's house, and uh, that's the dealio. <laughs> and that was her transition, you know. She just announces to everyone and sundry, no angst, no nail biting, no, you know. And I, and I always said to her uh, jokingly, "Why did you ever uh, transition? Because we never, in all the years I've known Janet, we've never talked about." her gender dysphoria and stuff because I don't think that uh, maybe she has one I think uh, her deal is I remember once she said uh, the reason I transitioned is I thought I looked better as a girl <laughs> and a guy it's like typical Janet you know so uh, as a result of that she's incredibly happy within her own self she's you know she goes to her gender meetings and things and she's inspirational to a lot of the young girls that are just starting out in her. Oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. Good job, Wolf. This is the first time since you got out of doggy jail that you ever nailed that loop. Huh? What are we going to do? Are you walking like a chain gang now? Don't you know that's the sound of the dogs working on the chain gang? Oh, we're still decked here. There we go. Poor Wolfie. Now look at that. He's more, even more decked. There we go. But the uh, thing I re thing I always love about uh, Janet is just her uh, totally unflappable uh, nature, and never getting, uh, never really getting too visibly upset about it. 
Does she have a temper? Oh yeah, you know. <laughs> you can't help but have one with the boss <laughs> around. But is she, uh, you know, for my best friend forever? You know, and then Jen, uh, Jen started coming on the scene a couple months ago, and the, uh, you know, the boss, you know, Bobby went one way, and uh, Jen's coming to the scene, and the boss was non, you know, he was originally really skeptical and not liking that too much. Uh, but you know what? Once the, uh, once everything was laid out, and he sort of saw it was going to be uh, probably a done deal and everything. You know, he'd never really pat you on the back and say, you know, I love everything you're doing, Rosie. But he did pat me on the back and say, you know what, <clears throat> you know, Rosie, you know, and it's hard for I love you, you know, but I mean, he always tells me he loves me and I love them. And, you know, Jen and I always tell each other we love and, you know, I've told them many times. Thanks for, uh, you know, thanks for not kicking me out of your lives for the decisions that I make in life and I think we rounded a corner where I feel like uh, all of us are going to get along really good and I know <laughs> when they meet uh, Jen they're going to be as crazy about her as uh, I am and uh, you know you guys are going to see it all on YouTube right those YouTube moments so instead of uh, what the boss would call two bitches in the uh, shine shack there's going to be three three there right <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have a lot of uh, fun hanging out. So I love the boss and Janet for, uh, you know, they might not, uh, they might sometimes question my uh, sanity and things, that, but at the end of the day, they well and truly want me to be uh, happy in life, which I think is a, uh, <clears throat> is a wonderful thing. So things have been very calm as a result. And... Uh, you know, although they don't watch all the time, I think sometimes when they sit at the kitchen table down there and they eat dinner, they have a computer down there. I gave Janet one of the T60 Lenovo's down there. <laughs> and I think that they click that on and they watch the uh, morning or the afternoon choo-choo's or they'll check the stuff from the weekend. And you never see a comment or you never hear a, <laughs> a word from them. And, a couple of weeks later, the boss might be saying something that refers back to a uh, video or something like that, and you'll start laughing your ass off at that stuff. So, great people. Just wanted to give you a little bit of background about the uh, boss and Janet on this, the last day of September. And uh, Monday Night Football tonight. I don't know who's playing, but uh, have yourself a great night. <laughs>